once again, here we are at CRS, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Big Al for Country Music News International. And with me, the pretty young lady beside me is Whitney Miller. And Whitney Miller is what we call a mover and a shaker in country <laughs> music. That's why she's here today. But she, she's going to tell you about all the things that's going on with her. Whitney, I appreciate you being on Country Music News International. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here and at CRS again. I was here uh, last year. It's so my second year now. And it's just... Love getting to sit down with y'all. Yeah, I guess we're all a little bit older, aren't we? <laughs> we are, that's for sure. And the year went by so fast. <laughs> it does. It really does. So what's going on with you? Well, you know, I've been working on a new project um, that'll be coming out in the summer. I, when I first moved to Nashville, I'm from Texas originally, and mm -hmm. we started recording music down there and moved up to Nashville and went kind of straight down the line country, just kind of stuck with my country roots, but I've always been a little... Um, you know, I've always been a little bit outside of the box, a little bit edgy, a little bit rough around the edges, and so I figured, you know what, why don't we do that in my music and have some fun with it, and we're doing a very big rock album um, with some country spice, a little country sparkle on there because, you know, I have my roots still in country, but I'm ready to just let it rip and have a good time. And so it's going to be a six song EP coming out in the summer and then we're already working on four new singles outside of that. So is uh, some of this going to be like cover music or is it all original? It's all original. All, all Everything I've written myself, um, I, I write as well. So yeah, right. I have, you know, four singles out right now that I was a co-writer on and I wanted to do the same coming up. I'm open to cutting other people's music. I think there's tons of music out there that doesn't get to see the light of day, but all the music that I have coming is, is really a personal story or personal experience or something that I've gone through that I just wanted to put out there. I kind of like that idea, adding a little bit of rock, you know, to the to the country. Like that kind of reminds me of '70s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I have, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool stuff. And matter of fact, your shoes remind me of '70s. Look at that still. Yeah, you know. Hot, you know, I used to have a pair of still. I wish you were wearing them. Well, no, I got my I got my boots now. Well, those are nice. My kickers, but yeah, yeah, I just seen it. And in your jeans, I remember those from the '70s. Well, I wish that's you really, could. I wish that, I had some more from the '70s. These are just fake '70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure they can make them, but yeah, that is really cool. So that's going to really fit a lot of the good stuff from your album that's going to be uh, coming out later on. So social media, tell everybody social media, website, the whole nine yards. Sure, yeah, you can follow along uh, on Instagram mainly. Uh, Wit in Love is the handle, and then Whitney Miller on everything else, including Spotify. The new EP we have coming out, since it's so different from what I've already put out, it's mm -hmm. just going to be self-titled, but just self-titled. Wit. Wit, huh? Yeah. Well, that sounds kind of witty to me, you know? Hey, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, people, go check this out, and when this new album comes out, I'm sorry, the new EP comes out, you'll get some rock and some country, and maybe you can, uh, well, you know, Charlie Daniels, I kind of knew him a little bit, you know. There you go. That's, that's really good stuff. Yeah, I think people in this day and time, they need stuff like that you're getting ready to put out because you know this world's pretty tough people need to get out of their minds a little bit and have a little fun that's what it's about let's let it rip let's have a good time let's do things a little bit differently and not judge too hard and just go for it have you got some tours and some gigs coming up we'll have something later in the fall but right now i've just been diving into writing and recording and making sure that this music just feels like me more than anything and you know i've, I've fallen into the trap prior to pushing out music that isn't 100% me, you know, sometimes you get kind of lost in the sauce, and yeah. I'm not doing that this time around. That's good. Yeah, yeah. you kind of need to, to excel and advance yourself a little bit more. Exactly, exactly. That's exactly what you're doing. Whitney, thank you for being on Country Music News International. Thank you. Thank you. I certainly. appreciate you having me. Yes, ma'am. Whitney Miller, everybody, Country Music News International, will be on the lookout for a hot album, or, e well, hot EP that's going to be coming out this summer. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute, honey. You know, I'm old, you know. So anyway, I'm Album, one of, EP, you know. I'm one of those baby boomers, you know. I, I'm thinking about the 70s and all that really cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, you just reminded me of that. All right, cool. I'll take it. I took and it Bell a big Bottom, compliment. Yeah, bell bottoms to boot. That's right. For more country music news, just go to countrymusicnewsinternational.com. And Whitney Miller and I will see you somewhere down the road. Big Al, right here at CRS Nashville, Tennessee.